for installing a sump pump down in a crawl space. This is a project that the homeowner could do themselves, especially when you have uh, a lot of headroom like we have here. It's pretty easy to move around. And what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and put into this corner, you can see the area that we've already started to dig out just a little bit. Um, we're going to put a sump pit, a sump pump. We're going to lift that water up from the pump, come out, and we're going to go through the wall. We're actually probably going to go through the wall over there because it's a little easier for us to get to the outside where we want to hook up the pipe. But again, the homeowner could do, do this themselves. It's really a straightforward job. Take you about two, three hours, and we're going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. So what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and start with the big shovel here. We actually have a lot of headroom, so we'll probably maybe be able to use that larger shovel the whole time. And we want to get the soil out of here so you can see we're putting it in buckets. One guy's put it in the bucket, the other guy takes it out, and we're just going to grade it out alongside the house. We pull back the pine straw and we'll just set it out there and grade it out, cover up with pine straw. All good. So while these guys are digging out the pit, you can see it's only been 10 minutes and they're already almost down to the bottom of that where we're going to set our pit. It doesn't take long to dig the pit. A little bit of labor, put the dirt in the bucket. Remember we carry it, we put it outside. Okay, so we're ready to set up our Zoller M53. This pump's a great pump. It's a third of a horsepower, has a single pole float, so as water rises up in that pit, lifts up the float, kicks it on. You can hear it clicking on and off. Start with a threaded male inch and a half adapter. It screws right in place here. We're just gonna put it together hand tight for right now, and then we'll tighten it up in a second. Next, we're going to put a piece of inch and a half PVC. We just need to get above the bar right here, and then we're going to put a check valve on there. So let's cut off a piece of pipe. It doesn't have to be any kind of exact measurement. We just need to get above that bar. Okay, so we've got our piece of inch and a half pipe cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some glue on there. Remember that this glue sets up really quick and <clears throat> we're just gonna line the outside of the pipe. We'll go ahead and line inside the fitting as well. Push it down on there and just hold it in place because it tries to work itself out just for a second. That's good, it's nice and tight. Next we're gonna put a check valve on there and the reason we put a check valve on there is because we don't want the water to come back down through and spin the impeller backwards. So we're switching these no hubs around. These are black rubber no hubs, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. We want inch and a half. <clears throat> they come with clamps. Whoops. They come with clamps. We'll put these clamps on here and we'll tighten them up using our handy dandy black and decker drill. <laughs> Any type of drill will work. Nice and tight. Same thing on this one. We're just tightening them up. <clears throat> Hard to see it, but there's a little arrow says flow, that's the direction of we want the water because there's a little flapper in here that keeps the water, you know, as it pushes that up, opens it up, and then when, it, when the pump shuts off, the flapper drops back down and keeps the water from coming backwards. So we want to put that on with the arrow pointing in the right direction. And we use our handy dandy drill, tighten it up. Perfect. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the pump 
inside will continue plumbing from the top of it, come up, come out through the wall. Okay, so now we're down in the crawl space. We're ready to hook up our Zoller M53. We've got our pit sat. We'll square that. Let's go ahead and start by just setting our pump down in the pit. Sits flat on the bottom. Hey guys, yeah. there's a there is a uh, lid. It's right in the van. <laughs> It's right beside the machine, or it was. <clears throat> so we've put our, our sump pump down in the pit, and we're actually just gonna plumb it right up here to this pipe. This is the discharge, it goes through the wall. And we start with putting the pump in. <clears throat> you can see it's gonna have a 90 on it. It's gonna come over, and another 90 that goes down to the pit. Okay, we so now we're ready pit. to plumb. We've already hooked up our pump check valve we've got a riser and now we're going to put some glue on here and glue our fittings together we'll start with the actual discharge that's this line over here let's get it to hold together you see we've got play in this so we can easily move it back and forth We just need to clean up this pipe. Sometimes they get a little dirty when we're dropping them in the mud, but they work good. Good amount of glue. Push and hold. Check your connection. You can see we're gonna fit real good. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and glue it up. And good one more connection remember this glue sets up really quick so when you're using it make sure you put it together quickly and properly and that's it so now we're ready to go outside we're ready to go outside and plumb the rest of this you know down the wall tied into the downspout so now we're plumbing plug it the in. outside wall you see we've already cut off the discharge. We're going to glue that up. Remember this pipe has some play in it so you can pull it out, get a good, good clean fit on it, and when we're done we'll push it back down in. Next we're going to drop it down underground. Put this fitting on the bottom. And then we're going to glue it all up. Let me clean this off first. Then when we glue it all up, we'll slide it back to the wall. Down here, this is gonna come out have a 90, and we're just gonna drill an inch and a half hole right into this uh, corrugated pipe. So let's go ahead and set this up. We've got sprinkler wire there, it's kind of in our way. We had to make a repair on that. It's all so good. we're just gonna drill a hole right into our uh, corrugated pipe. If we have enough power. Yep, real simple. Now we're gonna glue all this up, make a little connection, bring our pipe right into it. One more piece of pipe to cut. Clean it off, we're ready to glue it up. Good amount of glue down there. Push and hold. Let's go this way. Glue up both ends of this at the same time. And we'll put it together. Maybe. <laughs> and we're set. So we're pretty much done plumbing it. On me. <laughs> we're pretty much done plumbing. Mm -hmm. And all we need to do now is follow me. 
All we need to do now is put back our sprinkler, secure this, cover it up, and we're done. So now what we're doing is pouring gravel down along the side of the pit. Because remember that we perforated the pit to allow that water to come in there. So we pour the gravel all the way around, and that just helps water enter our system even quicker. Gravel by the bag. Pretty simple stuff. Just bring it out, pour it in. Take several bags of gravel. And that should do it.